So Janet wasn't able to join us tonight, so she sent this message of appreciation. First, I want to thank NASCAR and its voters for this extraordinary honor, which I never expected, and to apologize for not being there in person. I really loved NASCAR Cup racing and will always regret that I wasn't able to continue for longer than my 33 races. There are so many people to whom I owe thanks. Among them are the late Linda Ferrari, who became my NASCAR team owner, and Humpy Wheeler, who set my NASCAR debut in motion. Another key figure was the late, great Cale Yarbrough, who put his stamp of disapproval on the car I was to drive at my first cup race at Charlotte in 1976, and the late, great Junior Johnson, whose advice on setup fixed the problems. Without their action, I doubtless would not have qualified on the row behind Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Bill Elliott. In addition, I want to thank Hall of Fame inductee Donnie Allison, who offered some invaluable tips at that first race. Back then, there was nothing more fun than a slingshot pass where you were drafting a car dropped back a bit and then ran up into its wake and used the extra speed to go out and around. I don't think they do that anymore. The sport has changed almost beyond recognition. I would have had a hard time using a spotter, especially since a lot of the time the radios didn't work anyway. What I used instead was a special mirror that provided a complete view of anyone behind me. In conclusion, I want to express my thanks again for this amazing award and to offer my congratulations to this year's Hall of Fame inductees.